Hi, I'm Children's Book author, illustrator Debbie ridpath -Oe. Today I'm going to talk about broken crayon art, how I used it to help create the illustrations for Gerpel and Preen, A Broken Crayon Cosmic Adventure, and I'm going to show you how you can make your own. So let's get started. It all began when I started posting broken crayon art along with the message, you never know what will come out of a broken crayon. I was so thrilled when I found out Linda Sue Park liked my broken crayon art. We started talking and one thing led to another and she ended up writing this wonderful story that turned into Gerbil and Preen. The first thing I do when I get text to illustrate is read the manuscript over and over again making lots and lots of scribbles. After reading Linda Sue's story, I started working on character sketches for the two robots. Look, I made Preen's bow able to spin so she could fly. Meanwhile, I was trying to figure out how I was going to photograph the crayons so I could bring them into the illustrations. My office was full of hundreds and hundreds of crayons. I had trouble figuring out where everything was going to go because my office is not very big. These are just a few of the photos that I took. I also had a lot of fun playing around with different types of crayon textures and I found the look of the crayons changed a lot depending on what kind of paper I used. If you take a close look at the landscape in the background of many of the illustrations, you'll be able to see one example of how I use some of the textures. Next I like to put the whole story all on one page in little tiny squares usually with just stick figures. I do this because it's easier for me to get a sense of the overall flow and if everything's working okay. I also still wasn't sure exactly how I wanted to illustrate Gerpel and Preen. At one point I was experimenting with a diorama. One of the things I've learned as a professional children's book writer and illustrator is that it's okay for things not to be perfect the first time. Whenever I ran into problems, I knew I could ask my friends at Simon & Schuster for help. One of the things I love about making picture books is the creative collaboration process. I always learn so much with every single picture book project. I also like looking at the early sketches like this one and comparing them to how the final version turned out. So I'm going to show you how I do broken crayon art. So you don't need expensive art materials. I work with Crayola crayons because I can find them anywhere. And I used to break the crayon first and then draw with them. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to draw with it first and then break it. Now sometimes I plan ahead about what I'm going to draw. But most of the time it's more fun just um, thinking what could be coming out of a broken crayon. So let's make this. I'm not exactly sure what this is going to be. You know what? I think I'm going to make it a dragon. Oh, I love dragons. And she's going to have a long tail. And I'm going to make her coming out of, like there's a little whoosh part coming out of the cray crayon right there. Can you see that? Yes, you can. Good. But you can make anything coming out of a crayon. And I am going to put scales on her. And you know what? I'm going to put wings on her like that. Put some scales here. And I am going to make her reading a book because I like reading books. You can add more than one color if you want. Um, my main color is going to be blue, but I think I'm going to add a little bit of purple. I'll make the heart purple. And in my next video, I'm going to show you how you can use found object art like broken crayons and also things you find outside to help you come up with story ideas. Let's see. 
story ideas, and character ideas. Okay, so I broke a crayon and then I just use, you can use any kind of glue. I use a glue stick a lot of times. Oh, and this actually came right apart. So I'll put this one like this. Then what I like to do is sign it. Where's a pencil? Here's a pencil. Ta-da! And then you never know what will come out of a broken crayon. You can make um, two, it's, sometimes I do two broken crayons, then I mix colors. Possibilities are endless. So I encourage you to go break some crayons and I would love to see what you come up with. Meanwhile, here are just a few examples of some broken crayon art. I look forward to seeing what you all come up with. Keep creating, keep reading, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.